The turquoise waters of western Spain hold a secret weapon in the fight against the climate crisis. These underwater meadows are known as blue carbon. That's because the Posidonia plant captures and stores carbon, playing a key role in maintaining the biodiversity and oxygenation of the sea. It's the plant responsible for the colors of our beaches. And as we like to say, they're the lungs of the Mediterranean Sea. There are 50,000 square kilometers of this grass in the Mediterranean Sea. But the biggest and richest meadows lie around the Balearic Islands of Formentera and Ibiza. Scientists have attributed the white sands and blue waters around the islands to the sprawling seagrass meadows. Officials say efforts to protect the meadows over the past 30 years have helped turn the area into one of Europe's top holiday spots. One of the first measures implemented was the approval of a law designed to preserve and protect the Poseidonia, and this became a pioneering legal framework not only in Spain but also in the entire Mediterranean region as well as the rest of Europe. One of the biggest threats to the plant is the careless anchoring of leisure and fishing boats. Throwing an anchor only takes a few seconds, but causes damage that takes years to repair. The Posidonia only grows two centimeters a year. The local government says illegal anchoring is now under control thanks to its patrol boats. But there's another problem. Pollution and acidity in the Mediterranean accounts for about 7 percent of the meadows lost each year. And that's a figure that's on the rise. We don't know enough about how global heating affects the Posidonia prairies. We don't know how they react to it. The Posidonia doesn't blossom regularly each year. It usually blossoms when temperatures are high. So what happens as the world gets warmer? Will the meadows blossom more often? Or will they reach a saturation point and not blossom anymore? While there are no clear answers to Maria's questions, officials say they realize the importance of protecting the meadows and appreciate how protecting them ultimately protects us. Natasha Hussein, TRT World.